So what I'm going to do is within Nuke itself, I'm actually going to kind of patch over this image here uh, with bits of uh, this image here uh, so that we have one not sort of nice and complete um, uh, HDR image, okay? So what I want to do is um, uh, I want to just add beneath this then, I'm going to add a uh, roto node, okay? I'm just going to add a roto node into here, uh, and what we need to do is is these HDRs have, um, you know, this this merge. Um, what this roto node will do is it will create an extra alpha layer, but this merge node is expecting things to be pre-multiplied. So I will need to before I actually put this image into. Um, so I'm just going to disconnect this. So before I put this into the merge node, I am going to need to put a pre-multiply in there as well. Okay because it's expecting a pre-multiplied image. Let's just attach that. Here we go. Okay. Um, and then a final thing as well is, uh, again, uh, again, this isn't pre-multiplied. This image is not pre-multiplied either. In fact, it has no alpha layer at all. Uh, so again, that's going to cause a problem. But what we can do is simply in here, if I double click on this, um, we can go auto alpha, okay, uh, and that will just automatically add an, an alpha layer for us, okay, so that's the key thing here. Uh, so uh, just to make sure this works, you need to have pre-multiply here, and then you need to apply auto alpha to, uh, this, uh, to this image here, okay. Um, great, so now what we should be able to do is um, use our roto tools so what we want to do is uh, if I look at uh, I'm going to be I want th this image highlighted roto one okay and then what I'm going to do is be looking at um, this image here if I can just let's just do that again so I want to be looking at this image here, okay, and what I want to do is um, uh, create patches from this image to put onto this image, okay. So uh, I'm going to select the Roto1 node, so with the Roto1 node selected here, what I'm then going to do is draw some patches. So just, just to clarify, I'm looking at this image here, and I've got this image selected, so that's what's going into the viewer. Okay, and I've got this image here uh, uh, and the Roto One node here selected. Okay, then what I'm going to do is just draw myself a sort of Bezier curve. Okay, so I want to patch round this image here. Okay, um, then hopefully, just to see that working. If I go to um, uh, looking at the result of the merge, you can see now that, that the patch from this image is now covering that image look. Okay? So we can see the com sort of completed image. Okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, what we might want to do is actually just feather that out. So if I just... Uh, should be able to just pull here. So I can pull on these and just give that a bit of a feather as well. Oh, there we go. Great. Okay, um, so that's one part of the image patched up. And then what I want to do is patch this area of distortion up as well. So again, I'm going to click on the Roto node, click on this tool as well, and just kind of create a patch here as well. See how well that goes. Okay. Um, great. It doesn't quite as line as brilliantly as the other one. What I might want to try and do is sort of see, might want to try and adjust this and edit this a little bit just to kind of, I think if I meet at the corner here, that's probably going to be better. I'm trying to think how much of this I can use. So that seems to align sort of the best. And then if I, um, what I might do then is uh, with my patch, I'm tempted to try and uh, 
I almost want to sort of patch this whole area really uh, and that works fine just that uh, then I've got someone coming into shop there okay I'm going to go with that so you can see this patch just works kind of a bit better than the other patch but anyway let's uh, and then I'm going to feather that there we go Further that in, okay, and then so the resulting image should be um, if I just uh, close that, and then what we've got is a resulting image, and you could obviously refine this and get this a little bit better, but for the purposes of actually lighting something up in Maya and creating something to reflect, um, that's working quite nicely. Final thing we want to do then is just add a right node under this um, uh, under this uh, merge, uh, uh, under the merge here, and write this sort of final image out. Okay. Uh, okay. So again, just all we want to do is go into file. Uh, I've created my little shortcut to to the folder we're working on, and I'll just call it um, uh, just call it HDRI. Okay. Dot HDR. Again, just put it out as a HDR image. Okay. And I'll just go save. Uh, select HDR as my format, yes, and I'm going to click render, click OK. So it's rendered that out for me, and the resulting HDR can now be used. Here we go. Um, uh, the result, this HDR now that we've just created, can now just be used directly within Maya.